the boys were in FFA and 4-H and they wanted to show cattle. And we uh, told them that they couldn't show steers because uh, at that time we didn't see any profit in it. But if they showed a heifer, then they could always have a calf and build their own herd. So we went to Obranga Cell in Muskogee, Oklahoma. We went in an intention to buying three heifers. We came home with a whole trailer load of them. <laughs> and so that's how we landed up in the Register Green. From then in, it, it just multiplied. We kept buying Brangus heifers. Or in Brangus cows, too. So. We've been breeding Brangus cattle since 1966. kind of drought resisted. They really got a good mother in the building. If you raise them right, they're docile. But, main, but the best thing about them is their mother in the building. Receiving the American National Cattle Women Outstanding Cattle Woman of the Year Award talk about it too much because I still cry <laughs> because it's one thing I never covet I never really cared one way or the other that I got it because I love the industry I love the cattle and I love the family life but receiving the American National Cattle Woman Outstanding Award uh, it's an honor. It's heartbreaking that they think that much of me to give me this award. And they are a great group of women, and I love every one of them. That's the way I feel about the American National Cattle Women.